Have you ever had a buyer that you're working with look like this? Now, do you think that that buyer is agreeing with what you're saying? Or are they trying to cover up the massive headache that they have as a result of the information you've given them and they don't believe a word that you're saying? Have you learned to use techniques like leaning in and being fully present, actually listening to what it is that the buyer is telling you? See, all these elements that I've been mentioning here are part of the program called Market Confidence for the Wary Buyer. And I'm Carol Murray. I designed this course about four years ago at the bidding of an association executive because, quite frankly, what we were finding was a disconnect between buyers and sellers and the sales associate. When that happens, it's very difficult to build any sort of loyalty. What kind of communication do you have with your buyer and seller client? Do they believe what you're saying? Do they know the frame of reference? Are your facts right? In this program, which is highly interactive, we take a look at what's happening out in the marketplace. How do we address those changes and how does that impact our ability to have rapport with our customers and clients? We take a look at our ability to relate with our peers. What kind of communication tools are we using? And is technology getting in the way? A major portion of this program is understanding the value of the question and answer process, the interview per se. Do you know what questions to ask and how to ask them? And most important of all, the timing of those questions. You'll have the opportunity to ask me multiple questions in order to try and get me to share with you, the group, a secret that I have on a product that I purchase. Unfortunately, over the last few years, I've only had one person ever ask the compelling question that had me reveal my secret. And when you learn that, everything else changes. And that's the level I'd like to get you to. How do we connect and be fully present so that trust and value are maintained. And when you have that, you educate them and then the loyalty follows on its heels. Market confidence for the wary buyer. We can get rid of the wary when we replace it with trust. If you take care of the customer first before you ever worry about getting paid, I believe you'll always make money and thrive in this business. And with that, let's explore deeper in the program called Market Confidence for the Wary Buyer. I look forward to seeing you. And this is Carol Murray, signing off.